There isn't a boat or kayak in sight on Shark River during low tide, but plenty of birds on dry land. The boaters and, and, and users of the river uh, are, are able to use the river for periods of time throughout the day. However, when tides are, are low like this, it pretty much shuts down the operations. That's one of the reasons Neptune Township officials want to dredge the channels of Shark River, says CFO Michael Bascom. That plan's been in the works for 18 years. Officials identified about 70,000 cubic yards of silt in the water. Then the superstorm hit. After Sandy struck, an additional 30,000 cubic yards uh, filled the channels. Now we have 100,000 cubic yards of silt in the channels that has to be removed. Bascom says there are very few locations around the river large enough to hold the dredged material. An area in Shark River County Park was the most recent proposed site, but it was considered too expensive. Neptune Township resident Loretta Eichenauer says she's relieved. She lives next to the park. Very few people, if any, can argue the need to dredge the Shark River. But Loretta was opposed to putting the dredged material on the site close to her home. She said officials were never clear about whether the material was contaminated. She worried how it would affect her property values long term. As well as um, the diversion of green acres and taking that away from the Shark River Park. Neptune Township resident Russell Harmstead also supports the dredging project, but not the idea of placing the material in the county park. He says he spoke to a Department of Environmental Protection biologist. And asked her point blank, is the waters of the Shark River contaminated? And she says yes, with fecal coli bacteria. You now, is there fecal coliform in the river? Certainly, there's fecal coliform in, in virtually every water body there is around here. That's contamination as far as I'm concerned. Bascom says material from the river is not contaminated and the township already removed and tested about 16,000 cubic yards of silt from their municipal marina after the storm. Which is the same material that will be coming out from the channels. Uh, the material is uh, clean. It meets residential disposal standards. There was no odors. We're going to achieve this. We have the commitment of the governor, as he stated in, in Belmar this past town hall meeting. Neptune Township officials say they've identified several viable options to move forward with the dredging project, and they expect to meet with state officials to review the proposals within the next month. In Neptune Township, I'm Lauren Wonko, NJTV News.